Ouch. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh, here. Look at her. Look at her. Look Yes, I did. I should have appreciated it more. Mm. I should have appreciated it more. <laughs> look at Leela. Look at Leela. Look at Leela. Uh, look at, oh gonna, my gosh. The lens. Oh, God. Yeah, she's eating it. Again. <laughs> she laughing. Leela. Uh-uh, stop it. Stop it. She's going to hit you. We have made it to Cancun and of course we have to go through customs but custom was a breeze because there was no line which was great. So here we're just waiting for our bags you know kind of getting the kids to calm down a little bit because Lila was not having waiting like a two-year-old waiting in the same spot mm -mm, never works um, come to find out our bags were not on the conveyor belt we went to go ask a agent where our stuff was just to see if someone had taken it off of the belt or something like an employee and they did it our bags were lost or in Boston somewhere who knows um, I was really annoyed but you know I tried to make the best of it the kids were just tired and hungry. I'm ready to get to the hotel. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> clearly annoyed. But um, we're still going to have a good time. We are still going to make the best of this trip, okay? The ride to the hotel was like 45 minutes, I think. And we finally made it. Hello. Hi, Mara. Welcome. A fresh mask. Thank you. You get their hands. Okay, thank you. First time here or everybody been here before? It's our first, first time here, time. yeah. Please help us to wait online. Okay. As soon as one of my workers are available, they're going to help you with you. Okay, okay. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Here. I can't believe our luggage is gone. But I'm not gonna let that ruin my vacation. Our bags are gonna be here tomorrow. I told Gary we're going on a shopping spree today. They're reimbursing us. Cause we don't have a bathing suit. My baby doesn't have any diapers, nothing. It's pretty in here though. It looks beautiful. Like look at the blue water. I didn't even go to the blue water. Did you see it? You, you I didn't even notice.
The views here are gorgeous. I do want to thank the Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach in Cancun for upgrading our rooms. They treated us so well. I appreciate the fact that they had a person from the hotel talk to you as soon as you got there. Um, I like that because it gives you more information on the hotel that you can't really find out online. Um, the hotel staff is really nice. They help us a lot, like even if we have questions navigating things and they give you like a map and everything so you know where everything is. Um, even if you want like a tour, they will help you do that. Everyone's so nice and kind and accommodating. He gave us bubbles for the kids so they could like calm down a little bit as he was talking. So it was really nice. And the kids love exploring this hotel because it's huge. Like just the views and like how much space there is, it's insane. Leela was having a good old time, okay? <laughs> a good old time. So yeah, it's just so pretty in here. We just could not get enough of this hotel. As we're walking to our hotel room, we see all of these ice cream shops and restaurants. We're really excited to see what those are all about. We're going to try those later in the evening, but we're walking to the elevators to get to our room. And as you'll see, when we get in the elevator, oh my God, like the view is crazy. Like I could not get enough of this elevator. I thought it was so cool um, because you could literally see like all the pool area, like the bars that they had, the view, the water is so blue. Like I'm not used to that. I'm from New York, so the water is dirty. But yeah, this blue water, it looks like a screensaver. Like it's so crazy to me. And you can see it in the elevator. I feel like that's so cool and unique. So we're going to our room, you know, backing up a little bit. And I can say one thing about the Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach, honey. Their hotels are clean. Like their rooms are clean. From my experience, their rooms are clean. Their food is good. And the service is really good too. So like the people that come in and clean up and everything and the employees are really nice. So this is our room. We got the infinite ocean front one bedroom master suite. This room was really nice. Um, they had a full stocked mini bar. The view was really nice. Um, everything was really clean. They gave us a little bed for Leilani to sleep on because it is a one bedroom. So the bathroom guys, like the bathroom is probably the biggest room in the room. <laughs> like, do you see this bathroom? Like the, just the sink area is crazy. But um, the kids loved this. Leilani loved like that this bathroom was so big. And they have like room to run around even when we didn't want to like do anything. This is the shower area. Um, really nice. And then the bathroom is separate. And then they also do have a jacuzzi area. The kids got in that a couple times too. And they do provide robes for us as well. And slippers. So this is the view. Guys, get into the view, okay? Get into the view, honey, okay? Like, look at that. It literally looks like a screensaver. It was just so beautiful. Just, well, I could have literally slept out there, stayed out there because, like, that view, you could never look at that enough. I was like, do people really get used to this? Like, <sighs> crazy. Like, I wish I could just stay here forever, honestly. It's crazy. Like, do people get used to seeing blue water? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm really not. We literally just stayed in our room for like 10 minutes, put our stuff down, but now it's time to kind of explore. So we're just gonna look around the hotel. This was so pretty. Like just looking up and seeing like all these vines and stuff hanging and like the different floors. They really put a lot of attention to detail in this hotel, which I like. It's really bougie, okay, really bougie, but I feel like the price is pretty decent. So what we have to do, because our luggage is not with us, we have to go to the store. We have to buy bathing suits and diapers and wipes and stuff that, you know, regular people bring on vacation with their kids. <laughs> we don't have any of that. So we're going to the supermarket. We Googled it. And yeah, we need stuff. We need stuff. And this was a walk. I mean, it took probably like 15 minutes, but it was hot outside and I'm pushing a double stroller with two kids in it so yeah that says a lot but the the scenery was really nice um it was really hot i love the palm trees I'm not used to that either um 
the supermarket was different. Like they have carts that go up a little escalator and then you go in and you shop per usual. But, you know, everything is in pesos. So we're trying to figure out what is what, how much is this, how much is that. Um, but really, we just needed the stuff. So I'm glad that we're fortunate enough and we had the money to actually go out and buy stuff um, for that. We flew JetBlue. JetBlue is supposed to be refunding us. So hopefully they will do that. But yeah, hopefully, I'm glad we had the funds to actually do this because I'm like, what if we did not have the funds to financially move things around for us to get this stuff you know for our kids for us like it was like we spent like a grand okay a grand on stuff because we didn't have our luggage for like 48 hours and it's four of us and we need to close and underwear and bras and well a bra <laughs> and stuff like that so yeah they better reimburse us actually i gotta check up on that oh my god the battery is dying so really quickly we're sitting by the pool I ordered this swim, or I got this swimsuit from the grocery store. But um, we're about to order food. We're by the pool. Tuesday, we're having breakfast right now. And the breakfast is really good, right, honey? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly, the kids love the pancakes. And my food is really good, too. Oh, my God! And the fruit is so fresh. Oh and... Basically, long story short, I'm still looking crusty <laughs> and my edges and stuff aren't done. Our bags are supposed to be here today, so we're going to see. Hopefully, everything works out um, because we need our stuff. Oh taste the orange juice, Lani. That's good. It tastes like an excellent orange. We have freshly squeezed orange juice. Um, um, mm. but, 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 but. That's good. Literally. And she so fresh. It literally tastes like an orange. Like little strawberries and waffles, and I cannot get over this view. Uh oh, Leela. No, 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 no. We're back at the pool. We literally just laid out in the sun and played at the pool with the kids every single day. It was the best relaxing vacation ever. And I just ate food. I got ceviche every day. That's ceviche fire. Leela, we're not leaving yet. Thank you so much. I've never been so happy to see luggage. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. As you can see, we finally got our luggage and I was so hyped to get my regular clothes and get all of my equipment and everything. So I literally put the camera up and we started filming content. Okay. We got some like Instagram real content of us as a family. And then um, Gary also took pictures of me and the kids we do have to figure out a way to use our sony camera to take pictures of us as a family it's kind of hard to do that but we'll figure it out i usually use my phone but the quality is not as good so yeah but we had a good time just relaxing lila was sleeping at this time on the beach but yeah these pictures came out flames okay i must say some myself shout out to my hubby my photographer, okay, getting those angles. <laughs> no, so today is Tuesday, day two, and we just ordered room service. She and like, she, we got chicken right fingers, now. mac and cheese, <laughs> the catch of the day. I don't she know what it is. Leela got some fries. <laughs> um, I got a pizza. I also got penne. <laughs> And you know, I got chicken nuggets and fries. We got hey, a fruit platter. Some mimosas. Are these mimosas? I want mac and cheese too, mommy. Okay. No, that is your mac and cheese. Everybody Mommy's not eating mac and cheese. Look, there's a lot of food. So, yeah. This is our dinner for tonight. And then we're going to bed. And I will update you guys in the morning. Day three is here. And we are eating breakfast. For breakfast, for the most part, we just get room service because it's the easiest with the kids because we're going to be at the pool all day. So we order room service and we get like all the food on the menu. Everything is all inclusive at this hotel. Leilani is doing her schoolwork. She is not homeschooled yet, but she is in remote school still. Um, and her teacher was talking about her 
uh, background <laughs> because it looks like a whole screensaver. But yeah, I went to the gym to work out a little bit. If you guys follow my Instagram, you know I've been in the gym or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I've been like lifting weights, trying to get my weight up. You feel me? So yeah, I'm just lifting like 40 pound weights, doing some RDLs. I did legs this day and I feel like my legs are getting used to working out because I am no longer sore and um, I'm starting to like lift heavier. As I'm lifting this weight, I'm thinking about how hungry I am. So let's go eat. And we're at La Vida. Say hi guys. Hi. Gary has the other camera like taking B-roll of the restaurant, but it's so pretty in here. Like the view is crazy. You can eat outside if you'd like to, um, but we didn't because it's really hot. But yeah. Here's Leela, say hi. Uh oh. Say hi. No, 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 no. But yeah, today we're just gonna sit by the pool per usual and relax. But Leela needs a high chair. Oh, she has her high chair. Okay, wait. We should have brought the tablet because kids in a restaurant. <laughs> Temporarily. Hi. Lila, say hi. Lila. Okay. Lila. Hi. Okay. So like leave me alone. That's outside right there. This is what I got for breakfast. And it's really good. Super good. This is tamale pancakes. And there's like a crispy something with something on it, but it's fire. Leilani got pancakes and pineapple. And Leela tearing up the pancakes. <laughs> so silly. Got it. Putting some sunscreen on Leilani before we go to the pool. We just ate breakfast. Close your eyes, baby. Turn around. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Turn around, turn around. Put your arms out. Put your arms down. Oh my God. <laughs> just doing it outside just makes the wind blow. Getting Leela. My battery's dying. Maybe I should get another. Oh, did I even charge it? Nice. Wait, can you see the other camera, right? Yeah. It's fully recharged, right? The big camera. Is it? Oh, Just to give you guys what we we're looking at all day, you guys, so pretty. I loved that they had like different pools that you could go to and just the views were insane. I love that they had like the different bars in the pools so you didn't have to like get out to get a drink or something. They also had the beach right there and then you could get, like rent a cabana by the beach or just lay out by the beach. Um, and the kids had so much fun, like Leela just had a blast there was music playing that's why i can't really play the actual clip because there's music right here as you can see Leela was dancing she was having the time of her life so was leilani leilani loves being in the water Leela loves dancing as you'll see in the next clip hopefully i don't get copyrighted but yeah <laughs> really Leela? <laughs> two seconds later she's falling asleep this floaty puts her to sleep every single time she's in it so much so now at this point she doesn't even want to get in the floaty because she knows she's going to take a nap and the sun and the water and everything just puts her to sleep i was literally living my best life guys um put my hair all in the water like who am i <laughs> who are you but as you can see leela is not baby not all right she couldn't take no more she had to take a nap Today is still day three, and we're in the water. Leela's taking a nap, or watching her, of course. But it's so pretty. Look at this. Why is Leela too This is beautiful. Like, we definitely will come back here for sure. Yes, we have to. We have to. We have to. I love the fact that at this hotel, you can order 
drinks by the beach and they will bring it to you when i tell you every two seconds i was ordering something different and of course this drink is virgin because i gave it to my baby it was like a mango strawberry daiquiri and it was so good i got these like every literally every time they came around for orders after the pool we did get dessert because we ate dinner by the beach and the dessert was really good as well so today is day four in cancun and this is our breakfast and guess what day four is may 19th it is my baby's birthday leilani's eight years old i can't believe it like look how old she looks she looks like a big girl my baby's eight you have anything to say on your birthday what we can't i can't hear you okay let her eat she said we're going somewhere to relax hey guys today is day four this is our last like full day here and we rented a cabana because it's leilani's birthday so um yeah we rented this cabana it's so hot out here this fan definitely comes in handy but the kids are in the pool leela is tired We'll probably end up going to the beach later to like take some pictures and stuff. So this is ceviche. I've been eating this every day since I've been here. It's so good. And then they give you some chips on the side. Um, these egg rolls are so good. Been eating these every day too. And they give you like a spring roll sauce kind of stuff, like duck sauce sort of. And then Gary got this Cuban sandwich, I think it's called, with some fries. Looks like he already ate some. Stop, stop, stop it, stop. Stop. Okay, you're done. You're done. Say hi. <laughs> really? Gary and Lani are in the pool. Ow. <laughs> nope. Say hi. Gary, please go. Stop. Can you go get her tablet? In a binky, if you can find one. Stop, why do you? to the bar. Say hi. Say hi, Leela. Leela did not want to get in here. Every time she gets in here, she falls asleep. Oh, there goes a yawn. There goes a yawn. <laughs> she already falling asleep already. Look, look, look. <laughs> She's like, I can't help it. Virgin? <laughs> Can't ever have anything to myself. She does this every time. Of course this is a virgin daiquiri. Or, yeah, virgin daiquiri. It's called a pink panthers. I think it's just a pina colada and a pina strawberry colada daiquiri. and strawberry da Yeah, daiquiri mixed together. It's good. Yeah. Oh boy. You want to try this, Leilani? That's basically what I had, but it wasn't mixed together. Yeah. They make them fast, too. Yes, everything, it's like an icing machine. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Look at it, right over there, in the back, on the right. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it's like an icing machine. Yeah, she drinking it all. Yep. <laughs> Living her best life. <laughs> I can't even drink any. 
Look, I need to get my own. Delani, go tell them what drink you want. I want a strawberry daiquiri. Bird, you gotta say virgin. Virgin. Go tell them. Over here, over here, hey, hey, hey. In the water, over there. Here, she wanna order right here. Order, go ahead. No tequila. Say no tequila. Say no tequila. <laughs> Gracias. There you go. Birthday drink. All right, everybody. Drinking at the bar. Right. The poolside bar. <laughs> I can come here and bring you guys here. When I grow up. Do you remember this? Say it again. Uh, I say when I grow Look up at the camera. Gila, and I, I want to bring Bobby and Daddy to this vacation when we are now. Okay, we'll play this to you when you get older. And we can go to the beach and relax and take some photos. But we've literally been doing this every single day. The same thing, every day. Just relaxing in the pool. Funny. Yeah, this was the main point of the trip is just to relax and sit in the sun and be in the pool. So my edges didn't stand a chance in this humidity, okay? Like they came up as soon as we came out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're just laying here, Leela and I. Leela is knocked out. She's really, really asleep. But yeah, they're playing music here. I don't want to get copyrighted, but all we're doing is laying here, nothing else. Just enjoying the sun. Leilani and Gary went to the beach. And later, we're gonna go to dinner for Leilani's birthday. We'll probably take some pictures by the beach around like five o'clock when the sun is like just going down. Um, I'll insert the photos now. So we had a knock at the door and there was a little cake. Someone brought in a cake for us that said happy birthday Leilani for Leilani's birthday. And, and it had balloons. Leila's trying to eat them now. And then they gave her a little card. What is that? Open it up. What is it? Open it. Pull it open. What does it say? Turn it around. What does it say? 2022, dear little Lottie, we wish you a wonderful birthday. <laughs> Ooh, that was from the hotel. Erica and Leslie. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Those are two uh, promotion people. Yeah. That was so nice. Yeah, so that was nice of the hotel to do that for Leilani. Say thank you, Leilani. Thank you. Yeah, so we're off to dinner now, but I guess we're gonna try this first. Okay. It's a video. It's a video. Say hi. It's a video. I had to take my race out last night <laughs> because my scalp was on fire. I'm gonna enter the picture right here. This is how my scalp looked last night. I have connected the dots and what happens is because this has happened before when I was in North Carolina with my mom and I have box braids anytime I get synthetic hair put in and I combine it with chlorine like or pool water something with the chemicals makes my hair my scalp literally feels like it's catching on fire like, do you see that picture that itching started the day we got here I just really ignored it and I didn't even want to mention it because like I wasn't taking my hair out. I had pictures to do, I had content to create. So I literally suffered for days. But Gary went to the supermarket. There's a store close to here and he's going to get me some gel and a brush. But listen, we're in Cancun. I don't know what kind of gel or brush he's gonna bring me. This is the only brush Gary said they had and this is for white people's wet hair. That's all. Gary said this is the only brush they had. No, they had other brushes, but they were like thinner. <sighs> like it wouldn't even brush through your hair. Oh, this will work for my puff. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is the strongest number I can find. Okay. I'm gonna see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do my hair right now. 
with these products. I tied my hair up last night in some hair ties. Oh my god, my scalp is still irritated. Like, I'm still scratching. You know, I tell you, this hurts so bad. Oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. This is horrible. And I'm starting to itch everywhere. Oh. I don't even have like a good detangling brush or anything. I might just have to go with the puff because I don't have anything else. And my scalp hurts. Okay, let's try to use this brush. Absorbent anti micro. This is a white girl brush. Oh my god. Oh. I'm about to use some wet line. Oh, I know this makes my hair curl up. Like, you know, like, oh. It doesn't really hold anything. Did you see any Eco Styler gel or no? No. Does that work? Oh, it's DC. I use it at home. Wouldn't know that. The extra. I don't know. I'm about to try it. That's the strongest one that I had. I'm about to try it. Wow. No brush. All right. Hi, baby. I should have wet my hair. That was just pieces in between it. That's a fiber. <laughs> I don't really want to wet my hair either. All right, I'm gonna use my little edge control brush. I'm gonna try this extreme ultra resistant. Okay. Ultra resistant. Yeah, smells like smells like cologne. You okay, Lisa Jean? Not any. Okay, we're gonna try so this humidity. My hair is just gonna be a poof anyway, so it's no point in like doing too much. Okay, so I did my edges a little bit. I'm gonna use this headband. I'm gonna put a hair tie in the back to make it a little tighter. And then push it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even want to like comb my hair because ugh. this is gonna be a hot mess in this heat. But what else can I do? Nothing. Not a thing. Alright. I'm using some edge booster. Good thing I brought edge booster. Jeez. So we're at the airport and yeah, my poof came out okay. It's like a little afro puff. My edges lasted a little bit. It's very humid outside. So we thought we were going home, but we're not. We're stuck in Washington, D.C. And we're on this, what is this, train thing? Huh? people mover kind of thing the pilots can't drive because it's been over nine hours okay so we're stuck in dc tonight most likely i don't want to be in washington dc i don't want to be so we are in the DC airport and everyone's standing in a huge circle, not even a line, trying to get like hotel rooms and stuff because the plane can't leave tonight. So we are stuck in DC. At least it's the weekend, I guess. And I'd rather them not fly, especially if it's red weather related. So. so we are still currently in Yes, we are in Rush. We are walk. Look, we're in Washington D.C. right now. We're at the car rental place, we are stuck. and we're now driving home. So inconvenient. Not a part of the plan, but it is what it is. We're actually gonna stop at my uncle's house. He lives like an hour away. He was gonna come get it, get us, but it was too far. We thought about getting an Uber, but that was too much money, and we rented a car which was about the same price as the Uber right now. So we're just gonna do that and then drive home in the morning. We're gonna stay with him tonight and then drive home in the morning because Leela is over it. And 
So yeah, the reason why we couldn't go home is because ugh, there's bad weather over New York City or New York State or something, so they can't drive over it. This is our whip. It's cute though, it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> but this wasn't a part of the plan. When traveling, oh, she's in the. <laughs> really? I was gonna put in the back seat. I know. Around. I mean, it's spacious. It has enough room for us. You rented a full size. They gave us an upgrade for free. Oh, good. They gave us an upgrade for free, which is great. This is definitely unexpected, but oh my you goodness. Wiped yeah, I wiped it down already. I wiped down like everything. They get, well, we rented car seats as well. Ugh, I'm just so tired. I'm hungry. I'm tired at this point. I just wanted to get home, honestly, so I could poop. <laughs> I feel like on vacation, I'm always constipated. <laughs> TMI, but I am. And I feel like a lot of people go through that. And um, I brought my magnesium, but I didn't take it. Because I was like, oh, I'm on my way home. Well, literally, as soon as I walk through the door, I'm in the bathroom. But yeah, I'll update you guys soon. So we stayed the night with my uncle. Good thing we had a family member that was close by that we could stay with. We flew JetBlue there and back and ultimately they told us that they were not giving us our money back for the car rental that we had to rent due to the circumstances of not having a flight back home. Um, that's neither here nor there. I guess whatever. I don't know. I've kind of given up with them at this point. We basically we had to drive home from DC. <laughs> okay, this was not in the plan at all, but we wanted to get our kids home because they were frustrated and they could not sleep in the airport. They didn't give us any vouchers. They didn't give us any food money, nothing. Like at this point we spending money we did not plan on spending, but that's how vacation is though cuz you just never know. We stopped at our favorite spot. I think this spot is called Skeeters and it's like a barbecue joint and it's really good. We made the best out of this trip because we this could have been a disaster if we had a bad attitude, but you know, I was glad. This was food, okay? This is one of my favorite restaurants. And it was really good. And we ordered mad stuff. And the kids were happy. And I was happy because I was eating. <laughs> okay? But yeah, I got like um, ribs. Gary got ribs too. The kids got fries and a hot dog. Lainani said that was the best hot dog she's ever had in her life. After this, we literally just drove home. And that was the end of our trip, guys. I know it was chaotic, but we had fun anyways.